Hi everyone, Mark Metternich here. Great to see all your smiling faces. Thank you for following me. I am very excited to bring you, in less than four minutes, a powerful, potent, quick tip that will profoundly improve the quality of your images where you can double, triple, quadruple, and even more sometimes the quality of your photos to get data back that has been chopped off by Adobe before you even start to slide any sliders in Lightroom or Camera Raw. By using a linear profile, it is something that Robert B. Park and myself, my co-partner in the ultimate mastering fine art printmaking workshop have been advocating for years now, but people are slowly starting to catch on. I am not known for brevity. This will leave questions unanswered. Check out my workshops, tutorials. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe and notifications but i'm going to attempt to give you the gist of how profound this is in less than four minutes if the video goes too fast maybe watch it a couple of times and you may be on your way to doubling tripling even quadrupling the quality of your files before you even start moving sliders let the countdown begin. Lightroom, a client's file in total default settings, way clipping beyond repair. No adjustments made. Here it is in Adobe standard profile, a total mess, but we'll bring down the exposure to the point where it's not clipping. Even though it's not clipping, these areas have been completely burnt chopped off by Adobe by the adjustments that they made before it came into Lightroom. So the images that come into Lightroom have been massively adjusted before they arrive in Lightroom with everything set to zero. Nothing's clipping on the histogram, but you can see it's burnt all over the place. Now, linear profile. Let's put exposure back to zero. Go to a linear profile. Now take the exposure down to where it's not clipping. And we now have 99% of the data back, which Adobe completely chopped off. It's incredible. In Photoshop as to raw smart object layers taken down to where there's no clipping and you can see the histogram to the left, Adobe standard burnt and damaged and the data is gone. Linear raw file, the data is back and it is all retrievable where with this file, no matter how much I take the highlights down, the data has been chopped off. Another burnt and destroyed area taken down below clipping. The data is not there. Linear profile, it's all there with the exception of a couple of specular highlights. In this case, I estimate that Adobe has literally chopped off at least two stops in the upper register of light in this file. And anyone who knows about digital photo data knows that half of all of the data that is in your photo file at linear capture is in the single brightest stop of light and is pulled down down into the shadows and middle tones when the first adjustments are being made. Here it is chopped off. We can't even access it. Probably two stops. Here we've got it all back with the exception of a specular highlight here or there. So if Adobe has chopped off two stops of light by massive contrast adjustments, including pushing the lights way too far to the point where they actually get cut off, we can be losing half of the data, which is the quality of the image. And if it's two stops, half of all of the data that is in the photo file after the first stop is chopped off is in the single brightest remaining stop. So the data in this file, before I even begin to slide sliders, is triple the quality. There is a vast amount of benefits to using a linear profile, including dramatically wider dynamic range, but 
what most photographers have not thought about is quality. This image was completely impossible to help the client turn into a printable image. This image became exquisite without a single clipped pixel with the exception of a few white specular highlights. Also, on my YouTube page, there is a quick, easy video on how to download Adobe DNG Profile Editor and make your own linear profile or any other type of profile you wanna make, like many different types of black and white profiles for massive amounts of better quality. And this is just the beginning. Bonus close up, Dobie, linear, nonlinear, linear, back and forth. Watch this, both files taken down equally below clipping. Nothing is pure white. Oh my gosh, astonishing. That's a mess. A super zoom, just astonishing. Last example, Death Valley linear, not linear, linear, not linear. Look at that histogram. All the best to you and great light to you. <laughs>